Hello, my name is Li Yijia, 21 years old. Uh, I would like to take part in the Master in Television program at Boston University. So now the first question I'm going to answer is to discuss how you wish to advance your community as the result of your graduate study. To answer this question, I have to start with the reason why I'm eager to apply for a degree in television program. In China, as the living condition improved rapidly, television and network have become important channels through which we know about the world. However, the media's credibility in China has been questioned by more and more people. I think as the most powerful language, if the visual presentations in television fails to reflect what the world exactly is, the people who are watching television would become blind whose eyes were covered by the falsehoods of the vested interest groups. So I think if I could gain a much more comprehensive understanding of the mass media, I hope I could do something to change the situation in China and to help more Chinese people to see the reality more clearly. Because I think knowing the facts of his or own life is the right of everyone. The next question I'm going to answer is to introduce a person that influenced your own life. So I would like to introduce one of the most important people in my life, that is my dad. My dad was diagnosed with acute aplastic anemia when I was six years old. That was a fatal illness just like leukemia in China at that time. Actually, the mortality rate diagnosed by the hospital was as high as 98%, and we received several critical condition notices. So you can imagine how astonished the doctors were when my father finally overcame the disease two years later. Only experiencing death by oneself could a person truly understand the meaning of being alive. And my dad finally understand what he truly wanted after going through such a catastrophe. He quitted his previous job and established his own company after rehabilitation. And he also started to set aside some time for traveling. All those dramatic choices made by him inspired me a lot. I suddenly understood that life is not always what we presumed and we cannot wait until it is too late to fulfill our dream. And that is the main factor that encouraged me to give up what I've learned for almost four years for my bachelor degree and decided to pursue my own dream now. Maybe it is a total new start for me, but I will still do it with no fear because I know it will be a fight for something that I truly like. And the last question I'm going to answer is to describe where you grew up to someone who hasn't visited before. I grew up in Beijing, China. When thinking about Beijing, the words that comes to your mind may be the Great Wall, the Tiananmen Square, the Olympic Games, and of course the capital of China. However, for me, the most attractive Beijing is like this. An old city filled with hutongs and traditional courtyards. And I used to live in a courtyard in the south part of Beijing. And there were typical Chinese architectures with gray tiles and red gates there were blue sky and huge trees, which were even older than my grandparents. There were lovely kids playing with traditional Chinese toys and old men spending several hours in Chinese chess. Usually, there must be a fierce argument between them about whether someone has broken the rules. And there were also vendors selling candied cows along the street and I was always the one who cried and begged my mom for buying a string for me. However, all those wonderful things disappear day by day, and my lovely old city has gone. The old houses have been replaced by the skyscrapers, and we cannot see great tiles anymore. There, there is only gray sky caused by the air pollution. Maybe those changes represent the progress of China
But if I have an opportunity to introduce my hometown to someone, I would still like to say that Beijing is one of the oldest cities in China, and the most valuable treasure in Beijing must be her traditional culture. Thank you so much.